Hello there, I'm Renan Meduka and welcome to another Fallout 76 video and today we're going to be taking a look at two weapons, specifically some sort of rare and lesser known weapons being the fancy weapons. Now the sort of long term players will probably know the, sort of know them and know about them, but sort of newer players and players that haven't been in the game as long uh, probably won't because these weapons aren't exactly advertised or talked about at all or anything like that so we're going to be taking a look at how to get them where to get them and then doing a bit of a test and showcase for them seeing if they're any good and if you should actually consider maybe trying to get one of them but yeah that's what we're going to be doing today hopefully you enjoy if you do then hey consider liking and subscribing and yeah let's just get straight into this okay and to start things off on the how do you get these weapons firstly you need to have key to the past main quest finished that's a main quest that you get from Rose when you're doing the main quest line of the game. So as long as you've done that, then you're good to go there because then that allows uh, loot to be dropped on specific enemies being feral ghouls and scorched. And they can then drop uh, Pleasant Valley claim tickets. And that's the second part. You need Pleasant Valley claim tickets to be able to give to the bellhop uh, to sort of receive the rewards, which of course can potentially be the fancy pump action and the fancy single shot revolver. So as long as, you, as long as you've completed Key to the Past and as long as you have claim tickets, then you can go and hand them in and potentially get these weapons uh, to drop. And that's where the problem starts because, well, it's RNG. It's a very low chance. Um, I think it's 1.5% for each weapon. So every time you hand in a claim ticket, you have a 3% chance to get one of them. Uh, so that's where it sort of becomes a really tedious grind. But hey, it's RNG, so you could get them sort of in a row. I've done it where I've handed in dozens upon dozens of tickets and gotten nothing. And I've done it where I've handed in 20 and gotten both of them no problem. So again, RNG, it may be with you, it may not be with you, but that's the how to sort of get it. And now I'll just go into the where do you get it. So where you get it, of course, it's in the Pleasant Valley Ski Resort, the main building there, basically. And then, of course, once you sort of get there or load into the area, then you sort of just make your way to that main building and you sort of just make your way up the stairs and then sort of take the stairs all the way to the bottom because that is where the bellhop is and that's the person that you sort of uh, need to hand these claim tickets into. Now, of course, part of the main quest, you do unlock access to this bottom part. So again, kind of makes it hard to get these rewards if you haven't done that because, well, you don't have access. So once you're inside here, you can't close the door so no scorch to bother you, but here is the bellhop and this is who you hand those claim tickets into uh, to get those rewards and so. now to the main part and the point of the video being the weapons themselves so we have the fancy pump action shotgun here it is a three star and it's a sort of guaranteed three star so you won't get a different role than this uh but uh, this is the role that you'll always get when you get the reward sort of thing so of course fancy pump action it is an anti-armor of course you get that limb damage and then some damage resistance while aiming so all things considered it's actually a pretty decent role uh, considering when uh, most of the guaranteed roles in the game are usually bad or very situational, uh, besides something like Unstoppable Monster, uh, the fancy pump action shoddy is actually a pretty decent role. Of course, anti-armor is always nice. Limb damage, well, that kind of makes sense on shotguns because uh, it works with its perk cards. And then, so it so doesn't really matter too much. You get some damage resistance while aiming. So, hey, we'll take that. So it's actually a pretty decent role. It does come with a unique skin as well. So it's kind of that darker sort of wood and sort of painted black with that gold trim and sort of a, a floral pattern on the guard and just little bits. So it's a it's pretty cool cosmetic skin for the pump action shoddy. Uh, another thing as well, this pump action has increased ammo capacity and it reloads faster than your standard pump action shotgun. Uh, but of course, there's no mods. It comes sort of with its own specific mod, so you can't mod it at all. But that increased reload, that bigger magazine, a decent legendary roll. It is a pretty nice weapon and I do really enjoy pump action shoddies. The only thing that sucks for me is you can't put a suppressor on it. I usually like running that with a suppressor, but that's just me. I usually go for stealth shoddy builds. Uh, but yeah, that's, of course, you can't mod it. But the legendary roll on it and the cosmetic skin on it, it's a pretty cool weapons and over at west tech for some usual super mutant testing as you can see 12 in the mag there as opposed to the usual uh eight that your normal sort of shoddy gets um but yeah as you can see even sort of on a half health build no sneak it's still performing pretty well 
and dealing with the enemies and no problem. And it reloads pretty quick, as you can see there as well. Of course, it does come with increased reload speed compared to the regular pump action. Uh, again, the only downside really, at least to me, is that you can't sort of sneak with it and make, you know, use of that kind of thing. But it's a usual good pump action shoddy. I enjoy pump action shoddies. I usually always use them on characters that I'm leveling up. And hey, it's a decent legendary roll on, you know, a weapon. Uh in the game because usually weapons in the game do not get good rolls on them but yeah reloads really quickly there uh, in comparison to a sort of normal pump action shoddy i think i have one yeah anti armor one uh, of course as you can see suppress this one but yeah let's just reload that so not a bad reload on the normal one but it is increased on the fancy pump action uh so yeah pretty nice stats again the regular one it's pretty much the exact same role except the limb damage. This is bashing damage, but 251. Of course, we have adrenaline going right now. Did it just go? Yeah, there we go. So adrenaline's gone. So fancy pump action, 225 anti armor. Regular one, 205. So 20 more damage on this one. It doesn't state that, like on the wiki or anything like that, that it has better damage, but kind of seems that it does. Uh, so yeah, sort of really nice pump action shot if you are looking for one. And uh, yeah, if. If I could put a suppressor on it, I would use it in a lot more situations. Uh, but yeah, pretty good on full health build, half health build if you want to rocket in power armor. Uh, again, looks really cool. Uh, and yeah, it's just your usual good sort of pump action shotgun. It's actually pretty decent as a weapon in my opinion. Uh, so yeah, that's the fancy pump action shotgun out the way. And now let's just take a look at the second weapon being that uh, single action revolver. Uh, I think I was calling it a single shot revolver before, but yeah, single action revolver. So let's just go to that footage, shall we? And of course, the second weapon when it comes to the fancy weapons is the fancy single action revolver. Uh, I have a two shot here, and now that's the difference with the sort of single action revolver. Uh, it's a guaranteed one star if you're above level 25, but it is a random one star. So again, only one star, not that great. It's a single action revolver, which just by itself is not great. Uh, and you could get a terrible legendary effect and you can't sort of re-roll it or mod it at all, basically. Uh, so yeah, sing, oh, fancy uh, single action revolver, probably the worst of the two fancy weapons, but it is a cool looking gun. Got that sort of white pearl grip with that gold accent receiver and then the black body for the rest of the weapon. Uh, so yeah, it's a pretty nice looking gun, but again, just the gun that it is and that it only comes as a one star kind of sucks. Uh, but again, like the fun, uh, fancy pump action shoddy, uh, it does have some benefits over the regular one, basically. So it has longer range and it does have a faster fire and reload rate as well compared to a regular uh, single action revolver. So that is quite nice. Uh, so yeah, let's just test this weapon out, shall we? And we'll just deal with some more super mutants. But yeah. Uh, the regular single action revolvers only have like two mods available to them anyway, so you're not really losing out on any mods with, you know, sort of not being able to mod this weapon. Uh, so, you know, that's that. But again, reload, you load a single bullet at a time. So it is nice that it comes with that increased reload speed. But again, still not ideal kind of thing. But you know, not the worst performer, but uh, you know, nothing great. Uh, and again, when you do run into the higher level enemies, then you're going to sort of run into problems. And I'll just quickly heal up just so I don't die while we load those bullets back in. Uh, so yeah, not a super good weapon. Uh, but you know, if you're high enough level, you can kind of make it work. If you can get the crit shots off, uh, then you, know, you can do decent damage. So sort of orientate yourself towards a crit kind of build. Of course, this is also a two-shot, so not the worst legendary roll out there, um, as you can get some terrible rolls and again, a very low drop chance. So if you do get a bad roll, then you have to try and get another one all over again kind of thing. Uh, but yeah, it does look really cool. Uh, and for any gunslingers out there, maybe there are some people that do enjoy running the single action revolvers. Uh, but yeah, again, not the greatest weapon. And not the greatest because it only comes as a single star, but hey, it can get the job done. But out of the two fancy weapons, definitely going to be the fancy pump action shotgun that uh, I'd recommend trying to get yourself. Uh, 
and now they're just staring at me because they can't believe what I'm using either. No, 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 no. Don't, don't splash. Nice. And we'll just finish this one off and then sort of go into some final thoughts about the two fancy weapons. Yeah, there you have it, folks. The two fancy weapons in the game that you can sort of get as rare rewards from those Pleasant Valley claim tickets. Again, I'd recommend the weapon that I'm holding here being that fancy pump action shoddy. I'm a fan of pump actions in most games. I do like them in Fallout 76 as well. Again, I think it's only this and the combat shoddy that you can actually suppress for a stealth combat, uh, for a stealth shotgun uh, sort of build. Uh, not a big fan of the combat shoddy, but I do like the pump actions. So it kind of sucks that I can't put a suppressor on this, but besides that, it still performs really, really well. Uh, it does really great with those crit shots. It's a good roll with that anti-armor. Uh, it's got a cool cosmetic on it. Of course, that's subjective because, well, again, cosmetics. Some people love them, some people hate them, uh, and like different ones sort of thing. But I think it looks pretty cool. It's pretty unique, and hey, for a pre-rolled legendary, it's pretty nice. Uh, of course, then you got that single action revolver. Not the greatest, but it does look cool. Uh, so that's more of a maybe like a display piece kind of thing uh but yeah hopefully you enjoyed if you did then hey consider liking and subscribing hopefully you know maybe you learned some new info about the game with this video of course like i said most of the older players and high level players will probably know about these but a lot of people don't um especially the newer players because again it's not really sort of advertised that you can get these anyway sort of thing but yeah Check out the fancy pump action shotgun. I can highly recommend that one. Uh, but yeah, hopefully you enjoyed and thanks so much for watching and I shall see you in the next one.